Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What I have for you today is part two of my Omaha Steak Series. So what we're going to be doing, trying up today is the burgers. Now what I have here are eight four ounce burgers. Let's just call those quarter pounders. We're going to put those today on the Blackstone griddle. Now my setup for this cook is I'm going to cook seven of them just how I'd normally do them and how I want them. I'm going to put cheese on them. I'm going to put some Montreal steak seasoning. I'm going to leave one solo and that will be my taster because I just want to taste the beef, see if it's any better or any worse than a normal uh, hamburger. So the directions on these guys for a contact grill, that's what the Mighty Blackstone is here. So it says cook for a total time of five to six minutes and until you reach a temperature of 160 and that's just what we'll do. These came frozen. The directions also state let them thaw overnight, which we did. Now let's take a peek at them. All right. I guess that's a four ounce burger. I don't know. But the initial thoughts, these do not look good. We'll see how they taste. Enjoy. Alright, one quick little take here. So when I was peeling them up and getting them on the grill, um, probably over half of them broke up into pieces. Now, what, was I rushing trying to get them open quicker or not, or are they just very fragile? Guess we'll see here. I'm hoping the cheese will hold them together, but I just wanted to have that little interjection there that a lot of them did break up and rip apart on unpackaging. Alright. Alright, let's hit the taster. So there it is. Looks a lot better than it did when I uh, first saw it. Let's take a look. So it took, um, it said six minutes or so. It took about eight and a half to get to the 160 range. Take another one here. It's not the worst burger I've ever had. Nowhere close to the best. For the money guys, I mean, I'd much rather just go to the store, get a frozen burger, if I was going to have this. Hey, if you guys are into making your own, it's really small. There's, I mean, I don't know. You combine the looks, maybe I'm, the looks of it is really getting in my head. And again, I just wanted to taste what the quality of the beef was. When I was cooking it, there was hardly any uh, fat at all, so maybe it's a, a real lean burger. But we all know fat means flavor. I don't taste no flavor. Yeah, there's, there's nothing here, guys. So, again, hey, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit like. I'll put another uh, one in the series of the Omaha Steak Series right here. I'll put a little subscribe icon right there and make it easy for you. Hey, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.